Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Longland map and we are here uh, in the middle of our project to uh, collect more food to food processing over here at Raccoon City. So we're working on, uh, you know, c connecting up every all of these farm bits here to a hub station here, which is going to pick this up and bring it on into Raccoon City. Uh, and the whole reason for this is it keeps the proliferation of trains uh, down to something sort of manageable, right? Uh, and that's uh, that's kind of the point here. Uh, I'm thinking that one might be better with trucks. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get some let, let's get started here. Uh, we're gonna grab a building and we're gonna grab um, cargo station. Yeah. Uh, right. So we need to come this way. So, well, let's put this right here. Uh, that's Emerald City Farm number 11. Okay. Emerald City Farm number 11. Yeah. Absolutely uh, clever that. Okay. This one and this one. Right. Yeah, okay. So we'll grab uh, this Dewey. Um, well, we'll put it a little bit straighter this way. Yeah, and that's Emerald City Farm number eight. Yeah. Farm number eight. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah. okay. And then we have this one, which uh, is going to be Emerald City Farm number seven. Yeah. Uh, so we'll just uh, bash uh, a station in there, too. Um, we'll bash it in over here. Yeah. Okay. So that's Emerald City uh, Farm number seven. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Now we need to... Um, Squish some, uh, uh, yeah, squish some tracks in. Yeah. Uh, okay. So then we uh, come in here. Uh, no, uh, we want tracks, right? Yeah, that, that'll be the one we want. Okay, and what are we doing here? Um, we have a single track here. We could single track track most of these uh no this one's long enough to multi-track i think yeah i think it is so we'll come around like this yeah okay um yeah we'll uh we'll dual track this one okay because it does seem like it's probably long enough. Uh, bash it into there. Yep. Okay. You know, uh, dual uh, diamond crossing there. Probably overkill. Yeah, it probably is. Uh, okay, so this one here. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, in case uh, it's not clear, I'm playing on the uh, current uh, uh, testing beta version. And th this version has a couple of niggling, whoops, niggling bugs in it. Uh, which includes uh, not being able to build an embankment uh, when the uh, bridge icon thingy comes up. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So if we do that, uh, this one I think is long enough for a dual track as well. Okay. So we'll do that. Uh, I don't know that uh, a dual track is beneficial here. Uh, you know, I, I really don't, uh, but, uh, I'm just going to put it in anyway. That one should be fine with a single track. 
Now we need to be able to get uh, trains on all of these uh, tracks here. Yeah, yeah, we need to get trains on all of the tracks. Well, I'm pretty sure we could. Hmm. Huh. Well, we're going to need to come off of here, first of all. Yeah. Uh, and we need to come off of here in such a way we can slip that. Yeah. Well... Uh, no, we only need to slip one of them. Yeah, okay. So I can just avoid that whole problem altogether. I just need to get that uh, at an angle that's not quite so egregious. Now, which way is it too high? Um, that was that. That is too high. Okay. Um, still just a little bit. Uh, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Uh, okay, so we grab that, and then this. Okay, that gets us our uh, connection into those. And then we can do this to get into there. Yeah. And we can come up to here. Now... Is that, come on, get us a angle on it where we can see something. That is iffy. Okay. Then we need to get coming in here and we get a, a track in there. Uh, nope get a track like that yeah then we can get get a track like this uh, is that going to yeah that's uh, obviously not right uh, that's not quite right either okay nope uh, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. What? No. What did I do? Um, that's... That's too high. Okay. I think that's as good as we get it. Good. We grab that. Right. That gets us uh, tracks. So we can come in around here. And we can come in around here. Yeah. Come up to here. And do this. Yeah. And then from here, can we... No. No, do that. Uh, right, I want it to come that way. And like that. Yeah. Okay, so doing that, it means we're launching 
uh, from a depot over this way. Yeah. Uh, where am I going to put the depot? Well, I think I'm going to put the depot. Hmm. I want to have it a little bit out of the way. So, uh, yeah, we'll put it, put it right about here, I think. Yeah? Yeah, we'll put it right about here. Yeah. Good. Uh, building, yeah. Depot. There we go. Yep. Good. Uh, yeah, we also are going to need that uh, to have a track going the other way. Uh, just like that. Yep. Good. Right. Um, I think now we just need to put some signals on this part and uh, yeah we can get some uh, trains maybe uh, running on here. Okay, we're going to want one here and one here, and that's going to be two-way. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then more signals. Oh, come on. Right. Uh, more signals. Right. And that's a pretty long viaduct, actually. Okay, we're just about done here. So we need a signal here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We'll need one here and one up here. Yep. And a couple along here. We don't really need these, but I'm going to put them anyway. Okay. Right. So that's that. And we have a single track and a dual track. Yep. Yeah, so put one of these here. Right. Uh, we also have a... We have three single trackers here. Do we? No, we have one single tracker and a dual tracker. Okay, so we need this. Yeah, that's what we need. Uh, okay, which means we can put signals along here. Okay, just about done signaling this here. Yeah, we'll put another one in here just because. Right. So after we've done this, uh, it'll be time to fling some trains at everything and uh, see how horrible everything goes. Well, we need that. And uh, about here. Yeah. Okay. And... Right. So that's all the farms over there. So I'm going to start with the uh, the grain hub 
to Raccoon City. Uh, that's going to be initially. Well, let's take a look. What do we have? We're still in the Steam era. What do we have down here? Uh, we have a Class F here, which is 45K, 310 kilowatts, 130 kilonewtons. Um, you know, I'm going to go with that one, uh, right? And it's going to be cargo, and we want flat cars. No, we don't. We want gondolas. Uh, yeah, we want gondolas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we'll go with a 20 gondola train here, and we'll do uh, here and here. Yeah, okay. So this is going to be uh, Emerald City Green Hub to... Grain to Raccoon City Food, Emerald City. Yeah, okay. Now let's uh, let's observe the train leaving. Look at that, it's a train leaving. Yeah, okay. Uh, now I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven collector trains. So we're going to get those. So we're going to buy, well, we're still going to want gondolas, right? So that one. We'll use a 15 car one here and we'll, we'll grab the fairly again. Uh, yep. And we need seven of them. Now, isn't it great that we have half a billion dollars so we can just buy whatever we feel like? Yeah, it, it's, it's really, uh, really useful. Now, once we've got these trains launched, uh, it'll be a, a, uh, a simple matter of putting in a, a, a truck operation, uh, for this one. Uh, okay. So, this one, new line, goes here to here. Yeah. And this is Hill Valley Farm Collector. Yep. And we go in here, and we do new line here to here. And this is... Emerald City Farm number 12 collector. Yep. And we grab another one. And this one goes here. And this is Emerald City Farm number 3 collector. Yes. Okay, so that's three of the three of those. Okay, and we grab one more new line here to here, and that is Emerald City Farm number two collector. Yes, uh, grab another one new line, go here to here. Yep. And this is Emerald City Farm number seven collector. Yep. New line here to here. Emerald City Farm number eight collector. Yes, okay. And then our final train New line here to here, and that is Emerald City Farm number 11 collector. Good, okay. 
Now, uh, what we do, okay, what do we do? Well, what we can do here is, well, we can go in here, first of all, and we add stairs right here. Yeah? Yeah. Now, can we get that in range with a road by any chance? I don't think so. Oh, we can. We can, we can, we can. Okay, that gets it in range. So we don't need an actual shunting truck there. Good. Good. We can live with that. Well, what we can do uh, to make that less um, weird looking, uh, let's make it a country road. Yeah. Good. So that gets that collected just by virtue of catchment. Okay. Now... Let's um, let's just grab this guy and uh, go for a bit of a train ride. Uh, is what we're we're at here is we've basically completed the project for this this episode is this particular hub affair, uh, and uh, yeah, so we we can uh, observe the train ride here as we go over the world's longest viaduct, or something like that. Nah, it's not the world's longest, uh, not by any stretch, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, we just assume that there's a world outside the map, you see, right? Okay, we're coming up on the hub station. We should bail right here. Yeah, wind our way through here, Get our way in somewhere. Yep. Now we head out. Yep. Okay. So things are uh, are working here. Looks kind of odd with the three tracks here, but that's just uh, an optimization because having that uh, third track for just that station will actually keep traffic functioning better. And we're not picking up at this farm. We're going past it. And we're not picking up at the next... No, we are picking up at the next one. Right, because there was three down here. Well, incidentally, uh, as of this, this uh, beta version that I've got going here, uh, there's supposed to be some performance improvements in the simulation. So uh, that would be really good uh, if that, that really pans out. Okay, now here we go. We're going to pick up uh, 105 green. Yep. And head out. Now, we should have a shorter ride getting back there this time. So uh, we, should, we should actually catch up here. Right, so there's that viaduct over there off to the left. Uh, here's a farm. There's going to be another farm on the right. Yeah, you know, on, on the right, you know, just because. Yeah, here it is. And then we, there's the train going to that one. There's another train headed out. And here we go into our platform. Okay, good. Now, uh, this, now let's look here. Um, huh. 
Huh. Okay. Well, we've got some stuff doubled up here. So that, no. Do this. Now, we've got, okay, that one's doubled up. So eight, we need to send one of them to nine. Nine. Yeah, okay, we split that up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay. One is blank, two. Ah, that one can go to four. Yeah, okay, so that's better. Good. Now we're not sharing platforms. Okay. We're going to need a longer train here. Uh, okay, so we'll manage it. And we'll add cargo. Uh, we're at mediocre. And if we add more of these... What if we do that? Modify. Yeah. So how how long is that? Uh, Two hundred. Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, right. Well, it seems to be doing okay as far as uh, uh, close up. As far as things go, what we do want to do, though, is duplicate it. Hello, autosave. Yeah. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to ride the big train here. Right. So I think we're good here, and then we're just going to need an interchange train between this uh, grain and food hub and the uh, other one. Now, I'm debating whether I'm going to do that with Naffy's wagons or two trains with uh, bespoke wagon sets. I'm thinking that it might be best to do it with Naffy's. But I could I could do it with a single uh, a single consist with uh, gond gondolas and boxcars, but that's less flexible on carrying capacity, right? Uh, or you know on, on what it can carry. Uh, there's a reason uh, modern uh, uh, rail transport is largely uh, container based. Uh, you know, which is kind of the equivalent of the Naffy's wagons, right? It is container-based shipping. Uh, which is why I don't believe Naffy's is a cheat so much. Uh, uh, as uh, a reflection of uh, real uh, concerns, right? On uh, moving stuff around. This is a nice, long... Uh, line here. Uh, you know, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to set a train line that runs from one end of the map to the other on the main line. Uh, on the uh, the main line that gets established uh, uh, by the uh, by the end of the, uh, the, the development here. Is that's going to be one long uh, ride through the uh, countryside and the various things. So we picked up 210 here. We might need a couple more on here, actually. But it is uh, moving uh, stuff here. Uh, yeah, how much do we, we... Yeah, we're going to need another... I'm going to need at least one more train on here. Uh, manage. Put a third train on that, uh, right? Yeah. That does seem like the thing to do. 
Yeah, we're up to a 400 rate on that. Yeah, we're going to need more trains on there uh, at some point, but yeah. Uh, is we're going to have here 200. Uh, no, 400. Uh, for each farm, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight farms here. Uh, so we're going to need a 3200 rate to get from here to here. We're not going to be able to do that with these steam trains. Yeah, uh, we're going to need uh, we're going to need uh, beefier trains. Uh, you know, while I'm I'm I, I'm thinking about that, I am going to add another one. Now, uh, we spent about 100 million on this, uh, or 150, 200 million on this whole project here. And that's got this bit uh, operational. Then, uh, what I, I need to do is uh, get the uh, mainline connection up. Because we need to go, go through Lake Wobegon for uh, a food delivery there. And we need to... Um, yeah, we need to get up to Lake Wobegon. Yeah, and we also need to interchange between this main line. Uh, where's, uh, oh no, we, uh, no, we can come out of here and go up via Wobegon. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we can do for a uh, for a uh, connector here. Um, we can connect in through here. Uh, yeah, because this is overloaded. Otherwise, um, this I could just repurpose all of that, but yeah, it's it's overloaded. And we have to go via Wobegon anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we need to go via Wobegon anyway. So, uh, we'll definitely come across this way. And we'll run a connector directly up into here. Uh, we come through Wobegon. And we come down here. Yeah, okay. So I think that's going to be the project for next time. Getting Wobegon connected to food. And uh, getting the inter-food uh, inter uh, exchange going on. Yeah. Okay. Well, that gives us the project for next time. And uh, the episode's long enough. So I'm going to call it apart here. So, you know, uh, stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing uh, apocalypse, now uh, including a heat wave, uh, get you down too much. Uh, yeah, that's not going to age well, is it? And uh, yeah, you know, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, hit dislike even if you prefer. You know, your mileage may vary. You know, battery's not included. Insert disclaimer here, you know, etc. And see you back next time.